Afrobeat as a genre is has picked up momentum quite quickly and is really crossing over as mm -hmm. a as a world you know music genre. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this, what mm -hmm. this means for Africa, what mm -hmm. this means for you as an artist on yeah. the continent and what this means for the music industry in general. I think these are very exciting times. I think this is a time where we take up our mantle and mm -hmm. we fight like we've never fought before. Ah, what do you this mean by a, that? Like um fight with the music let them know let them see mm -hmm. let them see us as us let them feel what it is that we feel when it comes to our music and once it's in their hearts it's never going to leave because wow. african music is like magic yeah yeah do you feel like africa you know our music industry is prepared mm -hmm. to to handle all the opportunities that mm -hmm. afrobeat and this exposure that it's receiving can bring to us i believe that um, establishments are being made um, where Africans are secure now with their music, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to distribution. Mr. Easy just set up Empower, which is very, very strong with distribution. So, and it's not even, if you don't gotta, you don't have to get the big deal mm -hmm. to actually do what you need to do now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there are different structures, there's boom play, and there are labels that are willing to help. So, you just need to find the right people that you want to work with. Yeah. And if they believe in you as you believe in yourself, yeah. I'm sure it will come together. So I'm glad you mentioned Mr. Easy's distribution company. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess my question to you is how do we develop more homegrown companies mm -hmm. so that as Africans we can really benefit mm -hmm. from this exposure, right? Um, I think from the beginning now, as Mr. Easy has started, if it will definitely go well and that will encourage investors to do more when it comes to that side mm -hmm. because if they see that the structure that he has put up is working and is functional and it's helping artists and is developing artists there is no reason not to invest in it more to make it bigger Absolutely. in different places mm -hmm. so that we can connect to all the african musicians in the world mm -hmm. everywhere yeah you know i did a show in china for the new years um at the sanya fest and they had the first afro beat stage Oh, wow. And it was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome because we was out there and they were singing our songs like, yeah, you guys, it took a while, but mm -hmm. you're here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's wonderful. Is there anything that you feel we can do better? Mm. Our musicians, our producers, our mm -hmm. managers mm -hmm. on the continent. What can we do better to really leverage this, you know, Afrobeats and this, this entire industry? Um, I think one big problem that we have is communication. Um, yeah. In what sense? Sometimes information doesn't get to people when it needs to get to them. Things that are not done at the time frame in which they are expected to be done. Mm -hmm. So I think if we communicate more with each other on what it is that is happening, we will be able to give out the right information to whoever is supposed to have it mm -hmm. to be able to do what they need to do at the right time so right. that it builds the blocks together the right way. Yes, yes. and that ties it into professionalism yes. as well, right? Yes, yes, definitely. You gotta have the right people so that you can do it right.